According to new research, a massive unseen force is pushing our galaxy, the Milky Way, across the cosmos. It sounds like the plot of a terrible science fiction film. There is some mysterious entity that is beyond the limits of our galaxy that is pushing us against with terrible force. Welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Quick reminder, subscribing is free, linking the video helps YouTube suggest similar videos. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. The Milky Way is constantly traveling across the ever-expanding cosmos at a mind-boggling speed of 630 kilometers every second, or 2 million kilometers per hour. Scientists have long suspected that our galaxy is moving and being pulled across the universe. A new study that was released on Monday in the journal Nature shows that it is also getting pushed farther and further. We have no idea what it is or how long it has been there. However, we do know what it is called, the dipole repeller. We need to think big in order to properly set the stage for the dipole repeller. And not your usual astronomy big with galaxy scale events and energies. No, we have to go really big. There are many other galaxies that may be found beyond the Milky Way. There is Andromeda, which is located 2.5 million light years away, and it is well known and loved by everyone. There is also Triangulum, which is something that no one really cares about. Our three galaxies, together with a few dozen dwarf galaxies, form the local group an unassuming term for a structure a few million light-years across. The Virgo Cluster, a gigantic clump of nearly a thousand galaxies 60 million light-years distant, is the closest significant object to our local group. Our local group and the other groups that are located in this region of space are not really a component of the Virgo Cluster. Rather, they are a part of a larger structure that is known as the Virgo Supercluster. This is when things get a bit complicated. Both groups and clusters can be defined in a reasonable and understandable manner by the fact that they are held together by gravitational forces. It's like attempting to establish a metropolitan region based on the results of a population census. There are the city borders, to be sure, but what about all of the individuals who live in the surrounding area of a large city and work there? Exactly where does it come to an end? What are superclusters and voids? A supercluster is a massive aggregation of smaller galaxy clusters or galactic groups. It is one of the universe's biggest known formations. Cosmic voids are part of the universe's large-scale structure. They are vast voids that may or may not contain any galaxies at all. Supervoids are voids that are very huge and do not contain any rich superclusters. Voids have a matter density that is one-tenth that of average matter density observed in the universe. They are believed to have been created by matter oscillations during the Big Bang mass collapses followed by implosions. In spite of the fact that there are a variety of definitions, we are nevertheless able to draw some general outlines. The Virgo supercluster seems to be a branch of a much bigger supercluster known as the Laniakia. Laniakia is surrounded by other superclusters such as the Shapley supercluster, the Hercules supercluster, and the Pavo Indus supercluster, all of which are connected to one another. Each of these enormous structures stretches out for tens of millions of trillions of light years. The superclusters have a similar appearance to the foam that forms in a bath when too much soap is used. We're simply giving clever names to different parts of that foam network. But there are large empty spaces in between all of those little bits of foam. Those empty pockets in your bath are the soap bubbles themselves. They are referred to as the immense cosmic voids in cosmology. Each supercluster marks the boundary of a comparable cosmic void. There is also the Boots void in addition to the Sculptor void, the Canis Major void, and other voids. Each of these voids is a large expanse of nothing at all. They are empty cosmic wastelands that contain nothing except a few straggling galaxies, similar to how oasis villages are scattered throughout a desert. The biggest of these voids, such as Boots, are more than 300 million light-years across. Now let's talk about Dipole Repeller. It's actually kind of hard to map our local vicinity of the universe, and by local I mean everything within about a billion light-years. This is due to the fact that the dust in the Milky Way obscures our vision, and as a result, we are forced to use sophisticated astronomical techniques, such as sensitive infrared and radio surveys, in order to gain a sense of what is going on. Using these clever tricks, cosmologists were able to locate the Shapley supercluster, which is Laniakia's closest neighbor. This whole area of space is affected by the Shapley supercluster's gravitational pull, since the Shapley supercluster has such a massive amount of mass. Every galaxy, including our own, is heading in that way. However, the predicted mass of the Shapley supercluster may not be sufficient to explain our velocity. In addition to the Shapley's pull, there must be something else, a push, coming from the opposite direction. The Shapley supercluster is located around 650 million light-years away and is dense with matter. 
It is continuously pulling new mass into it, including the whole of the Laniakia supercluster of galaxies. However, the attraction of matter toward highly concentrated regions is simply one component of the whole equation. Scientists had previously theorized that a low-density zone may be pushing stuff out at the same moment, but it had not been discovered until now. Astronomers, on the other hand, believe that this isn't the only force at play in the Milky Way's path. The region of space where these attractors are located is difficult to view from our vantage point on Earth. The Great Attractor and the Shapley Supercluster are on the other side of the Milky Way from where our solar system may be found. Our solar system is located on one of the outer spiral arms of the Milky Way. When we gaze in that direction, we must first see through the stars and dust that make up our own galaxy. In the process of doing so, a group of researchers from across the world found more than 800 new galaxies in that region of the sky last year. A group of researchers from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, along with scientists from the U.S. and France, collaborated to create a three-dimensional map of what is known as the Galaxy Flow Field. This map essentially tracks the paths that galaxies are taking as they travel through the universe. When creating this map using data from observatories like the Hubble, the researchers concentrated on galaxies that had unusual velocities. This suggests that these galaxies were traveling at a quicker rate than the universe itself was expanding. The team was able to determine the underlying distribution of mass across the cosmos by doing statistical analysis on numerous independent datasets and comparing the results. The model is composed of under-dense areas of dark matter that expel mass and over-dense regions of brilliant galaxies that attract it. Together, these two types of regions cause mass to be drawn to the model. The researchers were able to locate what they name the dipole repeller by using this model. The dipole repeller is a huge area of space that is mainly barren of galaxies and is the factor that is causing our galaxy local group to move away from it. According to Yehuda Hoffman, the lead researcher on the study, we observe that our Milky Way galaxy is moving away from a massive, previously unexplained area of low density. This was discovered by 3D mapping measuring the movement of galaxies across space. We named this location the Dipole Repeller because it repels rather than attracts. We are being pushed away from the recently found Dipole Repeller as well as drawn towards the known Shapley concentration. As a result, it is now plainly obvious that the pull and push forces exerted at our location are of equivalent significance. The Shapley attractor, together with the Great Attractor, is pulled nearby matter in the direction of the dipole repeller, which gives the impression that the dipole repeller is pushing matter away from itself. As a consequence of this, the dipole repeller has probably lost all of its constituent matter, which has resulted in an apparent repulsion on galaxies between the dipole repeller and the Shapley attractor. The dipole repeller is a hypothesized vacuum and maybe supervoid on the other side of the Milky Way from the Shapley supercluster. The dipole repeller pushes us with its immense emptiness, while the Shapley pulls us with its tremendous gravity. The ultra-sensitive technology of the future may help prove that there are no galaxies in this space and figure out where our own is headed. That concludes today's video. We sincerely hope you have found the video entertaining. Please leave any questions or comments below. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more of our amazing videos.